What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Exoria. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we ended up making a new room over here with a concrete floor, right? And then we have our melting crucible set up with our burner. We made the ingot casting table. I'm currently melting down more iron. All the iron that we melted down yesterday, we have uh, placed over here, turned into ingots. We got 12 ingots, I think. Yeah. Uh, so the goal for today was to try and make this ingot, or I guess the uh, the nugget mold. Yeah. So what does it cost for us to do that? Let's go and take a look at this again. So with the nugget mold, we need to get a metal caster. Mm -hmm. So the metal caster, let's actually search for this. That way I don't have to keep looking at the uses for this every time. So the metal caster requires us to have iron plates and it also requires this refractory casing. That requires more iron plates. So total we need eight iron plates in order to make this thing. I assume we can make the iron plates the same way we've done before with just the hammer thing uh over here i don't can i do this no i don't think i can okay so right click and then right click this so there okay one two three four five six that seemed like there was less than six that time didn't it <laughs> maybe oh you can just hold you can just do right click and i'll place the ingot because it's on my bar so i guess i can just sit here and spam right click a bit so this is the last one we need, and there we go. There's eight iron plates. Okay, so we got that part done. Not a big deal. That hammer, we're gonna have to make a new one here soon. Uh, so yeah, going back to this thing. So now we need the Adobe. Uh, I think there was a quest for doing the Adobe stuff. Let's take a look real quick. Let's go under survival. Uh, yeah, Adobe's down here. But before we do that, I guess we do have another quest here for heavy metal. Okay, so let's do this real quick. So this wants us to make a plate casting table and a block casting table. I didn't even look at this before. Uh, casting table. So a plate casting table, uh, more refractory, a plate mold. Okay, so we saw how to do that before. So this is all depth of one stuff. All right, so that's not bad. And then the block casting table. So a block mold wants us to do a depth four all the way through that. Okay. Uh, so again, to make these, we needed the uh, the clay block things, and I can't, I don't have any on me to show you guys exactly what that was. <laughs> uh, so this is from Foundry. Let's just take a look together again. Foundry, and it was a block of like soft clay. This stuff maybe refractory clay block, right? So we need refractory clay, which is clay wrapped around sand or two blocks of clay with sand. All right, so I'm gonna start making some of this stuff. And I think it was loam and water in this thing makes the clay. All right, well, let me get to this real quick and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I made about, well, I made exactly a stack of refractory clay with 16 clay blocks and eight sand. Um, I was gonna turn it all into refractory clay just to save space. But then I was like, well, can we even mine this or like craft it back? And it doesn't look like you can craft it back. You might be able to place and mine it. But since there is no easy recipe, I only made two of them into blocks just like so, right? Um, so we need to make ourselves the plate casting table, which requires the plate mold. And that is a depth of one in the center. So we have a border of zero all the way around. So we can just go ahead and easily do this. I got to be a little careful. If I click outside, I think we're done. I don't think you can go back. So I think that's all we gotta do. Let's go get ourselves a, oh, you know what? All of our charcoal I put into this thing, didn't I? Let's steal just a little bit of that. Okay, uh, so one charcoal there, that should start doing this. Again, I still don't know what this button does. Hmm, I should probably figure that out at some point. But either way, this thing does what we need it to do. So there's our plate mold. So we can place that one in here. Now we need to do the block casting, and that one is a depth of four all the way through this thing. I don't know what happens if you go beyond four. Can I? Oh, you can bring it back. I thought it was just like a one and done. So right clicking undoes the depth, and left clicking does the depth. Okay, so it's just a matter of clicking all of these things. Oh my goodness. It would be nice if the JEI, uh, the shift click of the plus thing, for this would actually work and do all the the clicking for you. This is a little bit a little annoying, I think. It, it'd be cool if you could like maybe click and drag or something and do multiple at once. 
But you know what? I guess this is just like a one and done thing anyway, so it's not a huge issue. And done. I'll put another piece of coal in there because I don't think we're going to have enough to continue. Although we might. We might. Hey, look at that. Okay, so we got both of them done. Block mold and plate mold. Okay. So to turn those into their respective components, we do need two stone slabs and then four refractory blocks. I'm not entirely sure we have four of those. We have just two. Okay. So two of the refractory clay that I have left over, we can just go ahead and fire in our furnace over here and get those turned into the block or the brick. Um, as far as the stone slabs go, I don't remember the recipe. So that is just the saw. Okay. So we can grab our stone saw and we will grab some of that and we will do one of these. No, is it the other saw? It might be the other saw. There we go. Okay, so there's our stone slabs. Very good. And there's our two refractory block. Right, so we can do this guy, do one of those. And one of those, and then we'll do this guy, one of those, and one of those. Cool. So now we got the block casting and the plate casting table. So that updated our quest here for heavy metal. We also need a tin plate. So how do we do tin? I don't think... Hmm, hold on a second. Oh, you know what? Uh, we can just cast out the tin directly, right? I was melting down all that iron in there for us to turn into nuggets but i guess we need to get rid of all of this iron now there should be enough in there for oh you know what there should be enough in there for a full block i could have used the block casting on that one mm, can't do that anymore all right well no you know what there was not enough in there i think there was enough for seven ingots because i put 63 of the iron in there yeah that should make seven i believe anyway so i will go ahead and Cast all these out, and we'll be right back. We'll look at doing 10. All right, so all the iron's out. I put 63 tin in there, and it, like, went super fast. It shows that the heat is, like, down here. I would have shown you guys, but it happened so quickly, I couldn't press the record button. See, I got 63 tin in there, uh, but it wanted us to make a tin plate, right? Let's go back one more time. Yeah, tin plate. So I assume we can just remove this guy. Another block that we set down that we can't move. Do we got carry on? Can I pick this thing up? It won't let me pick it up. Hmm. We're going to have to make ourselves a better pickaxe in order to, like, move some of these. We can't move our ingot casting table, and we can't move our sluice box at the moment either. Both of these picks are like, nope. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I guess we can remove this guy. Remove this. Place it on the other side. We'll probably end up making another faucet eventually. And then we'll place our plate casting table down right here. Okay. Well, we got liquid tin, so let's do that. That should still be 144. Yeah. Okay. So it's cost the same amount to make the tin plate as it does the ingot. Um, and it takes about the same amount of time to harden as well. So there's our tin plate from Thermal Foundation. So that completes heavy metal. Awesome. So that is another quest complete. Uh, so that unlocks the ability for us to do Adobe crafting. We also have this channel thing that we can do and uh, build craft pipes, but I don't know how necessary that stuff is yet. Uh, efficiency. This wants us to make an iron axe. It says, with iron, I have access to more efficient tools and items. An iron axe should double the yield from chopping block. Oh, and an iron strainer net should last way longer. Oh. Both of those are very, very good. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? Bucket. Now that I have access to basic metals, I should have a way to make a better bucket from the tin plates. I can now finally make a bucket, which should help moving those hot metal, f those hot metal fluids. Right. Um. So, quest updated heavy metal. Wait, why did that update? I thought we completed it. Interesting. Uh. So bucket. Does that require just tin plates? It does. Okay, well, let's cast out some tin plates. And since we already have the tin melted, that gives us a good reason to do this. Uh, so we have seven ingots worth of tin in there total. So we'll be able to make two buckets, I think might be a good way to spend our initial tin. And then I guess one ingot. I'm not sure what to do with the last one. Maybe we should make a third bucket. I don't really know. Anyway, 
I'm going to cast out these plates real quick, and then we'll be right back. All right, well, I casted out the tin plates, and then I made one tin ingot because I didn't really know what to do with the last one. Uh, but I do know that we're running low on charcoal, so we can now harvest our charcoal pit that I made a little bit ago last episode. We should have quite a bit of charcoal in here, which is going to be great. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we need all that to keep our burner heater going. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, what is my inventory doing right now? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we ended up with six stacks plus one charcoal out of, I guess that was a stack of... Yeah, that was about a stack of wood to make half a stack. Of, well, no, I think that was two stacks of wood to make half a stack of the the blocks that go in here, right? The lumber piles. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'll have to go harvest some more wood, get some more charcoal going for the future because we will need more if we're going to be using charcoal to melt all of our materials over here. And if we're going to keep the burner going... Uh, we have to keep charcoal in here. Otherwise, the temperature goes down, I think. Although, is it using... Yeah, see, it's still using it very slowly to keep it full, but it is still using it. So, I don't know. Is it worth keeping this thing full all the time to just slowly stay heated? I think it uses a lot more fuel to warm it up than it does to maintain the heat. But if we're not going to be doing anything with this for a while, might not make sense to keep that full. I honestly don't know. But anyway... Let's make ourselves some buckets here. Wow, that's screen. We'll do two buckets. That way we can move water. Well, I guess we could continue to use our clay bucket for water. Do you unlock stage sieving knowledge? Title command successfully executed. Wait, what? Okay, well, I guess we did something. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, so sieving knowledge? It, the, wait, hold on a second. Console command... Did that unlock something over here that I need to know about? Resource automation. Ah, okay. Well, that, I guess, did this quest here. Sieve and fiber mesh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So this wants us to sieve ash block to get some new resources. I'm not sure if we should start doing this right away. Tiny pile of burnium. Tiny pile of coal dust. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I don't know if we should start doing this right away. Uh, we still have Magical Life, which we haven't even looked at at all yet. Uh, I kind of wanted to get through, like, the basic stuff here, our survival tab, before we moved on. So, now that we know that we can start sieving for more resources, that's really cool. Uh, watering can would be pretty useful. What does it cost for a watering can? This is... Okay, so four copper ingots... Plus a bucket. So I might want to make another bucket. Uh, I can upgrade that further with Invar, Bone Meal, and Redstone. Okay, okay. So we're definitely going to be into thermal expansion before, or I guess thermal cultivation? Thermal foundation. <laughs> Either way, before we can go too far with that. But yeah, maybe this would be a pretty good thing to do right away. Uh, so copper ingots... We only have two. Oh, well, maybe we can't do that yet. Okay. Well, it'll be something we should look at here in the near future anyway. Okay, so let's get back to making the metal caster. So there was the Adobe crafter that I wanted to do. It says now, or it says I now have metal ingots and plates, but I should work towards getting gears. It seems that this process is a bit harder to achieve. I need more heat resistant materials in Adobe. I wonder if I could use the rush seeds that I have to get. I wonder if I could use the rush seeds that I have to get some thatching. Okay, that sentence doesn't make sense. Another way should be probably to use grass. Another way would be probably to use grass. To make the Adobe brick mix, I need to dry the thatching on the drying racks I have. To form the mix, I should craft brick forms from split logs. To get them, I need to cut the bark from logs with a work blade, okay, by shift right clicking, and then some kind of axe or hatchet can split the strip logs by right clicking. Putting the brick mix into form now only requires waiting. I should paralyze, parallelize to speed up and also make sure it's safe from rain. With dry bricks, that's a weird word, parallelize. <laughs> 
<laughs> Parallelize. Uh, with dry bricks, I can now craft adobe blocks. Okay, so we need to get rush seeds. Rush will give us thatching. We need to take logs with a work blade to debark them and then right click them with an axe or hatchet to split them. Okay, so let's do this first. Fresh thatching. We have rush seeds somewhere. Uh, I don't know which one is the rush seeds. They're in here. Oh, right there. I was looking right at them. Okay, so we have rush seeds. We have a full 64 stack of them. Let's grab some bone meal and some bones. I was going to use that fertilizer. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. I'll just sit here and hold right click for a little bit of time so we get a little bit more bone meal. Uh, how much thatching did it say that we needed? Let's go back. It says we need two fresh thatchings. Um, let's also take a look here. How do you spell thatching? <laughs> uh, T-H-A-T. Thatching. Okay, got it. Fresh thatching. So that comes from grass or rush tips. Okay. Uh, rush stems will also make it. So we need nine rush stems. Got it. Okay. Uh, let's double click this. So we have 19 bone meal. That should probably be enough to get us to where we need to be. Uh, do I have a spot to plant rush seeds up here? I think I might need a hoe. Um, the hoe that I had before, I believe I broke. We might need another one. I don't know. It's still here. With, like, no durability, I should make another one real quick. So let's do that. So I'll grab some cobblestone. We'll grab some sticks, which we don't have. We'll have to make some. All right, so there's some logs, and I have the axe on me. Being able to get more stuff from the chopping block, that's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Uh, the chopping block, while it works and it's nice, you know, to get us going or whatever, yeah, uh, it definitely could use an upgrade. <laughs> Oh, why did you do that? Don't do that. We want that right there. Okay. Cool. So now we have ourselves another hoe just in case this one breaks. Uh, but again, we need nine of the rush tips. So maybe we only needed to hoe one spot up here. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Okay. Uh, the hoe. Right click. Guess we didn't need the other one, but I've made it just in case. And rush. Okay. So now we can just bone meal this. Oh, it does not want to bone meal. Okay. Well, if we can't bone meal this, this plant on grass and dirt, does it need like water nearby? Maybe we could try breaking one of these blocks and hydrating the soil. Maybe it does require it. Ash doesn't do anything. I wonder if the forestry fertilizer would. I mean, if bone meal doesn't, I can't imagine the forestry stuff would either. Maybe making that watering can would make sense at this point. I'll try the forestry fertilizer. If that doesn't work, we'll start working towards a watering can. Well, I tried using the forestry fertilizer on that thatch. Doesn't seem to want to happen. I'm sorry, the rush. So we're going to make ourselves a watering can. So I just melted down 36 copper uh or rock. We had a bunch of those up in our strainers. I haven't brought the material down from the last time we did straining just because of resource or I'm, I'm sorry, inventory reasons. Um, so yeah, so we have the four copper ingots, so we just need the bucket. We should be able to make this thing right away. Let's just do that. Uh, this guy and oh, right. Hey, right click this guy. So it does not want to shift click in there. Missing items that not have. Oh, I don't have an empty bucket on me. I thought I did. I put that away. That's why that's not working. Okay. We'll do this and that. And there is a watering can. Okay. So this is a basic one. This will do a three by three area and it only holds four buckets of water. Um, so I do have four buckets of water in here. So I can right click and get all that into the watering can. And there we go. So now we should be able to use this. For our purposes up here, I hope that this will speed up the process of getting those rush plants going. I decided to remove the charcoal from our burner heater. I feel like we're just wasting too much. So, oh, now that... Is that bone mealable now, I wonder? I don't know. We're going to water here. 
it's not making particles because I have all of the particles off. So we do that, that, and this. So we can see that it is doing something. But does this even work on this? I have no idea. I mean, the amount of water that we just wasted right here trying this is 16 leaves of water. <laughs> um, okay, well, we... Apparently, this isn't going to help make that go faster. It does have a hitbox now, which it did not have previously. So I am curious if bone meal will work at this point. Let's go try that once again. I would like to speed this process up if possible. <laughs> so hopefully the bone meal will make it grow now that we have a, a spot to click on. Let's take a look right. Oh, yeah. Well, we can do it, but it's not doing anything. So I guess these are not plants that you can speed up. They just take their own sweet time. When they grow, they grow. So this will probably be something that we're going to want to uh, plant a whole lot of them down then. Okay, well, let me get to that, and we'll be back, guys. Well, I planted a bunch of the rush down here, and slowly over time, they've been growing. It hasn't taken, like, super long, but, you know, long enough that I did have to, like, do this off camera. Uh, but, yeah, they are growing. I say probably I see one growth from all these plants, maybe, like, every 30 seconds or so. Um, but, yeah, once they get to this stage, their next stage is they grow the tips, and that tips is what we needed. So we now have nine of those. We should be able to continue doing what we were doing here. Uh, to make the thatch and then turn that into the dry thatch. I'm not sure if we are going to have enough uh, stuff for our um, drying racks to be happy. Didn't those need the cob before for them to work? Well, no, I right click on them. It says they're happy. So I guess the, the waddle and daub stuff works just fine for those. Okay, very good. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and I guess we'll place each one of these here. There we go. And there is our fresh thatching. Okay. Uh, so going back to the quest book that wanted us to get the fresh thatching and then turn it to the dry thatching, which I assume we just right click on to here. Yeah. So it's doing two of them at a time. I don't know how much of this we're going to need. Um, let's go to the next part of the quest because I might have to farm a lot more of this stuff. So Adobe brick mix. All right, let's get out of here. Adobe brick mix. This stuff wants us to have dry thatching plus a mud ball plus a refractory clay. They give us four Adobe brick mixes. And then I assume each one of those turns into one brick. So we are going to need a little bit more thatch. That's fine. Uh, we have that going upstairs. And now that they are mostly grown, I think we should be able to farm the rest of the thatching that we need pretty quickly. And it's not that big of a deal to get this done. Anyway, I'm going to continue on with this, and we'll be back, guys. Well, we got enough of the thatch made, and we got some of the adobe bricks made. So one of the things that I noticed here, uh, I removed the tops of our rushes, right? And then we collected that, and then I collected more, and we ended up with six remaining. So there's a total of 15 plants here. They would not grow after I removed the tips once. I had to remove the stems as well. They turn back into this, and now it appears that they're growing again. So it doesn't work like sugarcane or whatever, where you just chop off the top, and then they'll continue growing again. You have to, like, remove the entire plant, the tips and the stems. You get these, and then they'll continue growing. At least that's what it seems like in my limited experience. Uh, so I just got done making a flint work blade. So it said that we, like, click this on something. Do we have to do this on a specific type of log, or does that have to be in my inventory? Let's try it. Uh, so if I grab this and I place it here with the work blade. Hmm. Let's go back to the quest book. It says to form the mix, I should craft brick forms from split logs. To get them, I need to cut the bark from logs with a work blade by shift right clicking. Okay, shift right clicking. I cannot. Oh, I'm not. I want to place this log back, not like get mud out of the... Okay, <laughs> shift right click on this thing. Aha, okay. And there we go, there is some oak bark. I think it said right click to split. Okay, so now we have split oak logs. Craft in world with an axe, right, okay. So we're supposed to be making this brick form, so we need a total of eight of those. We might need more than one. Uh, wait, what did that say? 
Block must not see the sky. Okay, so we have special restrictions again. So shift right click on this thing until... Does it not... Okay, I was gonna say, does it not work if it's like not on the ground or something? But I guess it still works. And then right click to get more logs. All right, so we'll do it one more time. That one was pretty quick. I guess it's just random. And then right click a few times. There we go. All right, so we have our split oak. We have some oak bark, which I'm not sure if it's needed. We're trying to make this, so that is just the split logs, like a chest. All right, well, let's go see about making this thing and see what we can get going on here. Uh, but yeah, I ended up making 32 adobe brick mixes, so I guess that's gonna get us 32 adobe bricks. I don't know if that's the amount that we need or not, but I figured we should probably stop there for now and not make way too much. We should figure out what we're doing here. I'm also kind of afraid though, <laughs> if I place this thing down, that I won't be able to pick it back up because we've had that problem before. Uh, all right, so let's make this thing brick form. You know what, let's go put it down here, just in case. We'll place it down here, right there. Seems like a good spot for it. And then I assume we right click these in there, okay. Now we don't have any, any indication that's doing anything. If I right click on it, nothing happens. Shift right click, nothing happens. I assume these will turn into a darker color. I was almost wondering if they were slightly changing color at all. All right, so I don't know how long this is going to take, but let's continue on here. So it says dry Adobe brick. We need four of those, and it wants us to make two Adobe to complete this quest. Uh, yeah, it might be worth me going up and making a few more of these things. Still not ready to go. It might take a minute, it might take five minutes, it might take half an hour, I have no idea. Anyway, I'll continue on making some more of those, um, yeah, the, the brick forms so we can get more of those going at once and we'll be back, guys. So it seems like after you place the adobe into these molds, it turns into the wet adobe brick, but then after that, you gotta wait not really a specific amount of time, but it feels like five minutes or something before they start having a chance of turning into the dried brick. Yeah, so you can see we have a few here, so we can just punch these molds down, or I guess the forms or whatever, and uh, get the dried brick out. I think we needed a total of 24 of these things to continue on, uh, so we need these last two to hurry up. <laughs> okay, well, that should be enough here. I'll just replace these molds back. Yeah, I'm glad that we keep those. Uh, even though they're made from logs or whatever, it says that we can mine them with a shovel and they like break like sand or whatever. So that's kind of cool. Well, let's just mine this last one. I think I had a little bit more Adobe in my inventory here. Yeah, six more. I'll just go ahead and place those here to get that drying, even though we don't necessarily need them right now. Okay, so we have the dry Adobe brick and having that in my inventory completed part of this quest early. So now we need to make two Adobe bricks. Let's do that. Okay. So quest complete, Adobe Crafter. Very good. So to make the metal caster, which we were originally trying to get to, we needed this recipe. So four Adobe, four uh, iron plates. So let's do that. Yeah, do it this way. Metal caster, this thing, make that. Very good. So there is a refractory casing standard. Uh, and to finish this up, we need two chests, four iron plates, and two more adobe brick. So let's make the brick real quick. Okay, I guess we made way more than what I needed. Um, that's fine. And then I had two chests that we made previously, and I don't... Are they in my inventory? I um, know I made these things. I must have stuck them up on one of our racks here somewhere. I'll find those real quick, or maybe I'll have to make two new ones. I'm not entirely sure what happened to them. Uh, so we can continue on here and make this final bit. Man, I thought I had them around, but I must have put them up somewhere. Well, not sure what I did with those chests. I thought I had made some extra ones. Maybe we used them in the sluice box or something. I can't remember. Anyway, I just made two more of these immersive craft chests. Uh, let me clear out GEI a little bit here so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Okay, so we're trying to make this metal caster, and it says we got everything, so there we go, metal caster made. So this will allow us to start making nuggets, I'm pretty sure, that's what we wanted, nugget mold, so we can start making chests. 
Let's go back to... Just regular vanilla chests required us to have these iron nuggets, and the only way to get those, besides those ore berries, which will be a lot nicer when we get to that point, <laughs> is to cast out in a metal caster iron, right? So this should allow us to do it. Uh, so I think we're out of time for today. We will look at using this iron caster next time. Hopefully we'll start working towards the point where we can get uh, ore berries going and then we could just do that directly from the ore berry. That'll be pretty nice. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. We got a lot of good stuff going on. We checked out the drying racks. We made the thatch. We got Adobe going. We got ourselves the ability to make plates and blocks should we choose to. And now we have the ability to make ourselves uh, nuggets, which is going to be really, really helpful. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.